welcome to another edition of Collins Corner at home. I've heard some of you can't quite believe that APB plugins actually work on some other DAW besides Pro Tools. Well, it's true. If your DAW supports an AU or VST3 plugin format, it's gosh darn gonna work. Let me show you what I'm talking about on Logic. To start with anyway, you'll want a pair of these. Okay, I have a session in Logic here. Um, provided to us by J. Kim, aka Big Banana. Great. Before I get started, please note the APB status application is running. And that's what I'm using in this floating window here. That's right. Under APB status options, I can always have the APB status window on top by checking the always on top option. Boom. So I can see what I'm doing over there. Right now, all my APB plugins are bypassed. Let's hear the track the way it sounds now. All right, but let's see if we can take things to a new level with some APB processing. First up, we have a single channel from the APB MUX mixer. This is what we call a MUX channel. It has some EQ and it has some analog saturation and compression. So what I've done is I've put it in. I got a little bit of low end from the EQ, a little bit of compression, and a little bit of saturation. Let's hear it. Probably sold that track too. There you go. So we're basically getting a little more low end, a little bit of edge from the analog saturation here, and a little bit of EQ. Okay, I like that, we're gonna run with that. Let's go to the bass, because it's always about the bass. Now in the bass, I'm using the C673A. It's actually the first APB plugin we ever did. It serves as a prototype for the whole dang project. There's actually three different tracking systems inside this plugin that'll give you the optimal amount of compression in a nice, soft kind of way. Let's play that bass some. Now we'll add the plugin. Just getting a little bit of compression there. Now we can get crazy. Now that's something. That's all analog saturation you're hearing, folks. We're gonna back that off. We just want to find something where we're getting a little bit more out of this low end of this bass. Yeah. Just a little bit bigger. Now let's mess around with the vocal. Now what we're going to do here is first I'm going to compress it. You can see the compression action here. Yeah. Good thing these UIs are resizable. But it kind of buries the vocal a little bit. I'm going to use a spike control. That's going to let some of the vocal actually cut right through the compressor, the sibilance and the transients, i.e. the bite part. Other parts it's going to compress. So without, with, just a little bit more. You might give that just a little bit more gain. Okay. All right, I like it. Now let's go to the master here. This is the L18 mastering limiter. It's pretty awesome in my totally biased opinion. When I put it in, it has a color control. I can make the mix a little brighter, a little darker. 
여기 사람들인 여기 사람들인 내게 준거 Darker Let's stick somewhere with the brighter Now I can make it a lot louder We're getting pretty crazy here with the amount of compression So much cooler Somewhere about right here Before and okay so there was me trying to mix a song probably not the best engineering you've ever seen but you get the idea okay now we're in cubase i still have the apb status application window floating over the top because i checked over here always on top in the apb status application that way I can always see how many channels of the APB8 I'm using. I have the same session, same segment. All the APB plugins are bypassed currently. Let's listen to it. Get the idea. Now, just like the other tracks I just showed you, I put some C673 on the bass, which you can see right there. That's great. On the drums. I think this time we put, oh, a chicken head. Very nice. Let's go ahead and put that in now. We also have in the vocals. We also have the C18, like I showed you before. Yep, and then on the stereo output, we have the same limiter I used before. Here's the limiter. I'm going to go ahead and take it out, hit play. We had the APB processing going on in the bass, the drums, and the vocal. Let's polish it off with this limiter. A little bit more, a little bit brighter with the color control. Okay, cool. One thing about APB processing that's important to note. Sometimes we have hybrid processing, like in the MUX mixer, where we have a combination of digital EQ and analog saturation and compression. And sometimes we just have analog stuff. Here in this limiter, all the limiter action you're hearing is from the analog domain. We do have this color control, which is a digital EQ that is pre-limiter processing. But this color control is calibrated to work very nicely with the limiter. So even if I crank up the super highs here, I don't get any overs. And again, all the analog limiting is happening in the analog domain. I guess that makes sense. Analog limiting, analog domain, get the idea. Let's hear the whole thing one more time with or without the limiter. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm Colin McDowell. These are APB plugins on Logic and Cubase. AU and BST3 hosts, yeah, we work on them. Check it out. Gonna let that fade. Now, if hearing about McDSP plugins working on AU and VST3 hosts isn't enough for you and you want to hear more, maybe you have some other questions about McDSP, APB, or some of our regular plugins, just leave your questions in the comments section below. We'll be sure to get to them. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.